Welcome back to an RPG Architect tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make the player run. This is going to teach us how to set up virtual keys as well as use physics and change physics properties. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are in the 2D sample project. And in most of your RPG Maker engines, when you press the shift key, your player runs. So we want to implement that same thing into this project. So I'm going to hit F8 and I'm going to remind you about one thing. So when we go to the characters here under these traits, we can set physical property. And right now we have the X and the Z set to 300%, 300%. These are the speeds of that character. So just keep that in mind as we are setting this run implementation. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up a key for it. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to virtual keys. Now yours might be set up with a lot of virtual keys. Basically what I did was resized it. And if you try to go lower than seven, you won't be able to. It's because it has some default keys that it needs to keep. So if you say seven right here, it removes all the input that I had right here. And then it keeps the ones that you need. And then I just resized it to 15. So if, you, if you're wondering why I don't have all the ambulation keys that you see, th that's why. So now I'm going to click one of these blank ones and I'm going to call it run. And here is where we're going to set up the run key. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to map it. So I want this to be the left shift key. And so this is how you would map it. You can map multiple keys if you want to be assigned. The next thing to take a look at is the scripts going over here. And these are sort of like state machines for this key. So we have a press script, an ongoing script, and release script. The press script is for when you initially press the button down. It's going to run one time. Then we have an ongoing script, which is when it's going when the button is being held down. And then we have the release script, which is when the button is let go. And then that will run one time. So you kind of have a enter, an update, and then an exit state for these virtual keys. And so what we can do is we can change our speed depending on if we're pressing the button down or not. So we're going to go to this ongoing script and we're going to right click and apply some physics or alter physics property. We're going to alter it from the party member. So I'm going to say zero. And then we want, we want to alter the X and the Z speed. Now, right here, if you remember in the uh, character speed right here, the physical properties, they're as percentages. Well, these aren't on the, as far as the physical altering the properties go. And so 300 is actually going to be equal to three. And so if we want to say run at a double rate, we're going to equal it to six. And then that is going to give us our running speed of six. So then the only thing that we got to do, I'm going to uncheck this delta value as well. It was giving me some issues. So for just a simple speed change, you might not need to use that. I'm going to copy this and we're going to go to the release script or the exit state, you could say, and we're going to paste it in here and we're going to change these back to three. Now you could apply these to a global value so that you have a um, changing value depending on your items that you get maybe or something like this. But for now, this is all that we need to do is just we can have some hard set values. We have an ongoing and then we an exit script. So we can hit OK on this and we can actually play test. And see that we can walk around normal at three. When we hold shift, we run a little faster. And then when we let go of shift, we walk, we go back to walking. And so, yeah, this is simply how you can set up a running uh, in your games for RPGA. If there is any questions, comments below, Steam Forms, Discord will get you figured out. And with that said, I'll see you at the next video.